What's up guys? So a lot of people have been asking what Cloud Campaign is and what really sets it apart from the other social media marketing tools out there today. So what I'm going to do today is run you through just a really quick demo of how to get your Cloud Campaign account set up and then how to actually share your first post. Um, and we're going to share all of our existing blog posts within just minutes. Uh, we're going to schedule them all out over the next few months. And I'll show you just how easy it is using our platform. So assuming you already have your Cloud Campaign account, you've already linked your social media accounts, this is what it should look like. You'll have um, your activity feed in here, you can sort by engagement and other metrics to figure out what type of content your audience performs and responds best to. Um, then you also have a filter for uh, specific keywords, so you can see like what type of keywords or content they respond best to as well. So. That's your activity feed, but what we're really interested in today is sharing our content. So click on schedules, and we're gonna create our first schedule. Since we're sharing our blog posts, I like to use a drip schedule. Um, the way this works is it's gonna share the same post at increasingly longer intervals. Um, so what I like to do is day of, week later, and then month later. Um, and then we're gonna choose 8.15 in the morning. Um, so this is going to use a new caption every single time it's posted. And it's a great way to get increased exposure for a given website or a blog because on average, your organic content is only seen by 5% of your audience. By sharing it multiple times, it's going to increase that exposure closer to maybe 10 or 12%. So click finish, and this is going to create our new schedule. We'll see the schedule right there. And the next thing we want to do is then import all of our existing blog posts. So we'll click on content and then auto import from the left side. We're going to create a new source and this is going to be Cloud Campaigns blog that I'm going to share here. <clears throat> and then for the RSS feed, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a WordPress blog. So it's simply the URL of the blog slash feed. Uh, if it was medium, if it's a custom domain, it's the same thing, the URL slash feed. If it's uh, a medium domain, so medium.com slash, um, you know, the username of someone that you're following or your own blog, then it would be uh, medium.com slash feed slash at the blogger's name. And that's how you get the RSS feed. So we can auto import into Cloud Campaign. The next thing is auto generate captions. So what this does is it's going to read through, Cloud Campaign will read through your blog post as it imports into the content library. And it's going to pick out key quotes or sentences from your blog post to actually use as captions. So this is a really effective way um, if you're sharing a lot of content, a lot of articles, and you don't necessarily have the time to write the captions, um, or you just want to kind of pull out this little teaser sentence that will draw the audience into, into your article and make them click on it. Uh, this is a really effective way of doing this. We do this for almost all of our articles that we share. Um, then we're going to click Next, and what this will do, it's going to go and read through uh, your blog post and grab all of your existing blogs. Um, so here you can see this is our 10 most recent and since we want to add them all we're just going to click select all, uh, import 10 articles <clears throat> and so moving forward what this does is it's going to add a new auto import source meaning anytime you write a new blog article it's going to automatically add it to your content uh, your cloud campaign content library so then you can just share it from a single click or schedule it by putting it into a queue with a single click so a uh, super effective way to constantly keep your library up to date without having to ever um, put in work and copy the URLs and paste them in so I uh, definitely recommend that if you do have a blog so the next thing we want to do is we want to actually add all of those articles to our drip schedule uh, click the plus sign on the left of the drip schedule we're going to choose existing content and here we're just going to go ahead and choose the 10 blog articles that we just imported. Um, and it'll, <clears throat> it'll add them to the queue in the order that you click them. So as you'll notice, I started on the bottom, so I'm sharing my oldest articles first. Um, and then we're just going to work our way up. And it's going to add all of those articles in that order. So we're going to add 10 items. And then here you'll see all of our articles. But what's really cool is it's going to auto-adjust the first post date. So this little uh, banner right here on the bottom right, that's the first time this content is going to be posted. And as you'll notice as we scroll right, it's actually spacing them all out. Um, so none of them are posting on the same day. And so this is uh, you know, a quick way to just share out all of your content 
um, and not really have to worry about choosing like which day and time you actually want to post it. It'll handle it all for you. It's going to post, um, you know, the first day, whatever day that may be, based off of how many other items you have within that queue. And then a week later, a month later, and then it's done. They'll remove it from the queue once it's gone through that full cycle. And then if you want to see uh, what posts are upcoming, you can click upcoming post and you'll see 815 each day we have a new post going out, one of our blog posts. Um, you know, and, and the whole the whole two weeks are full of, of posts going out. Um, and then if we look if we were to look a month in advance, we'd see there's still posts going out a month later. Um, about a month and a half later, the way it spaces it all out. So this is a really effective way if you don't have a ton of content or if you want to share your blog to, to just keep your, your stream full of um, really interesting content and spaced out accordingly so it doesn't seem spammy to your followers. And then from your, from your upcoming post here, you can see really when it's going out, what's going out. So you can see like a preview of the blog post. You can see the link that's going out. Um, which accounts it's going out to. So this is going out to my personal Twitter and my personal Facebook. And then you can see why it's going out. And this is that drip schedule. Directly from here, you can actually manipulate it too, which is a really effective way um, to adjust. So if you notice there's a post going out that maybe you didn't want to go out, you forgot about it, simply click disable. And now that post isn't going to go out anymore. So you notice there's no post going out on Saturday, February 10th now. Um, if you want to enable it again, you can just go to the schedule. You see it's disabled right here. You click on it and click enable, update it, and now it's back in. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, if you need any help getting set up, feel free to email me or drop a comment on this YouTube video. Um, happy to help and get your account all set up and ready to go. Awesome. Thank you, guys.